Hello and welcome to eMultiSkills video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we will learn what is uh, how to perform the uh, routine maintenance task in PostgreSQL using PG Admin 4 graphical tool. So what is the requirement of uh, doing the routine maintenance task in PostgreSQL or any other RDVMS? So uh, it is very, very important to perform the routine uh, uh, maintenance task so that whatever uh, 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 degeneration of the file system or uh, uh, fragmentation has happened on the table or index level or the file system label that can be reclaimed we will not be talking about the file system we will talking about only the table and the index uh, fragmentation and uh, some of the other other commands so there are the certain tasks which we have to perform to op attain the optimum performance in PostgreSQL some of them is here uh, like vacuum we have a separate tutorial detailed tutorial on uh, vacuuming what is vacuuming and uh, and uh, vacuuming is nothing like uh, whenever uh, there is an uh, uh, update or delete in postgre uh, tables uh, the 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 rows which has to be deleted or updated do not go out of uh, the table they uh, remain there in that particular table as the dead tuples and if there are uh, uh, too many updates or deletes, then the size of those dead tuples, dead rows will keep on increasing. And that leads to the uh, 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 degeneration in, uh, uh, in the table uh, uh, performance so that whenever any query is using those uh, tables or the indexes where uh, vacuuming has, uh, where uh, that tuples has happened then uh, it is going to uh, degrade the performance of the query so using the vacuum what we do is we we try to uh, remove those dead tuples if it is if you are doing the uh, standard vacuuming what it will do uh, the dead tuples will be removed and it will be available as free storage in that particular table when you do full uh, vacuum what it does it it, it creates a new uh, table and it removes all the uh, dead uh, uh, tuples from there and there is another routine index uh, re-indexing if the table has uh, uh, has uh, what do you say the the fragmented and then it is surely uh, going to depend the uh, uh, impact the index as well so what do we do in database maintenance we do the defragmentation of the tables or the indexes or the data files using some of the uh, methods which is given by default in the pg admin tool and why those uh, fragmentation happen it is due to uh, it is happening due to the insert or the delete operations on the tables which is causing or leading to the dead tuples or or bloating as well so when we do the maintenance it helps in reorganizing the table and the indexes it and, and uh, enhance the performance of the database so we'll be talking about the four maintenance uh, process one is vacuum where in uh, the dead tuples will be removed from the table if we are doing a standard vacuuming then uh, those uh, those dead tuples will be available as uh, free rows and they storage and they can be used later on when we say analyze uh, analyze is going to analyze the tables and uh, that will be used by the query optimizer so that uh, it can pick up the latest uh, uh, statistics of the table when you say your re-indexing re-indexing is going to uh, what do you say create the new index where and there will not be any fragmentation and last is the clustering of the tables so vacuum we have already discussed like what is vacuuming then we have discussed about what is uh, uh, the use of analyze analyze what it does it it tells the query uh, planner to update the statistics uh, and it is going to generate a good plan when those uh, tables uh, are getting involved in the query and how do you generate the statistics uh, on those tables uh, using the analyze command it is one of the optional step uh, in vacuum uh, by default it is disabled but you can enable it reindexing can be done to remove the fragmentation from the index so we will see how to do that and the uh, last one in this is the demo we'll see how to perform the demo let's and this and uh, i'm logged into uh, 
uh, to uh, PG Admin 4 uh, GUI tool and I'm, I have uh, some of the database which I had imported one of them is DVD rental so what I'm going to do just right click and say maintenance and a window will be popping up and you can see there are four things vacuum analyze index and cluster vacuum by default it is no because when you say full full vacuuming that means it is going to lock all the tables it is going to freeze all the updates and this uh, that means there will you cannot do any kind of update on the table and uh, if you say analyze uh, you uh, you can do the analyze so by default full is no freeze is no analyze is no and uh, if you just say burvos uh, you can run this uh, uh, analyze uh, vacuum command just say okay and it will show you the progress so more details we will see how it is going to do it's just a vacuum verbose command on the, the particular database so it is a standard uh, vacuuming happening onto the database but it is not going to log the tables or it is not going to run the uh, the analyze command if we have to do it you can see that it is successfully completed you just go and just say maintenance and if you are sure that it is a complete downtime you just say full vacuuming and depending upon the size of the tables uh, it is going to take its own time so you will have to do some kind of uh, testing how long it is going to take and if you wanted to analyze which should be done if you believe that uh, the uh, the uh, table statistics have changed then you need to let's say the insert uh, or the update and the deletes have uh, changed at least 10 or 20 percent of the data and it is going to impact the performance of your uh, database then you can run this just say okay and uh, you will see that maintenance job is created and it will pop up yeah so more detail so what it is doing is vacuum full freeze verbose and uh, it is going to run this command so in the first we saw that uh, uh, vacuum verbose only now it is doing the full vacuum it is freezing the tables also and it is showing you the output as well successfully completed since it is a, a database which is just in kb that's why it is taking lesser time uh, going to maintenance again and just doing the analyze if you just do analyze it is going to analyze all the tables in this particular uh, database just say okay and you will be able to see what it is going to do so the maintenance job is created it will pop up just say more details and it is saying uh, analyze verbose that means it is going to analyze all the tables which are there in this particular database so if you see the data tables over here are these so it is going to analyze all these tables so you can see here also analyzing public dot address that is one of the table and if you see uh, it should be somewhere here yep so it is going to analyze all the tables so analyze increases the performance of your uh, 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 database because the uh, query planner updates the statistics and that is used during the the execution uh, execution of uh, the uh, the sql query we can check one more thing and uh, just right click onto the database just say maintenance and you can do the re-index just say OK and you just have to tap on that particular tab whatever you wanted to do just say more detail reindex reindex database database name and it is going to reindex the entire database so reindexing is completed the final in this is uh, the last one which is maintenance and you just say cluster and if you just say OK and this is not uh, the the task which we have automated this is just we are doing an ad hoc if you wanted to do it in a scheduled way either you do it put it into a cron job or you do it uh, uh, using the pg agent as well so we are doing the cluster verbo so it is going to run it uh, it is uh, showing uh, successfully completed so this is how do we do the uh, routine maintenance in uh, in uh, Postgre using the PG Admin 4, and it is very very easy. You just right click onto the database, just do maintenance, and all the four options will be available. I hope this is going to help, and uh, thanks for watching.